Good morning, you guys. Happy Vlogmas Day one. first of the year it's the first of December what is this <laughs> so there's a couple of things that I do at the very first of the month and the first thing is I get new contacts out so I wear monthly contacts and my eyes are the exact same level of not good in terms of my vision if you guys did not know I, I have terrible vision it's a negative seven which is very very strong can you also see, you can definitely see fancy. I'm like squinting <laughs> to see if I can even see an outline in my viewfinder of what is included. Baby, you know you only brush your teeth at night. I think fancy also thinks that maybe we're going for a you know what, but it is 24 degrees outside. 24, like am I back in Rochester? I'm not okay with this. Actually, it's December in Rochester. It's probably like three degrees out and I'm so glad that I'm not there. Guys, I have been really just unmotivated to work out recently. It's been ever since I moved here. Let's be honest. <sighs> I've just been not on my game in terms of my workouts and I'll get random bursts of like, yeah, I'm gonna work out. And then other days I'm like, I could just like care less. I could totally care less. So what I ended up doing yesterday, actually, I just got the sweat app. I had heard a lot of people talk about it by a lot of people. I mean, I know like two people on Instagram that do it. Actually, I know like three people on Instagram that do it and talk about it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the sweat app. I'm going to do, is it the BBG program? Where it's like six weeks or something and it basically maps out all of your workouts. And I was like, if I do that, then hopefully that discipline and just getting back into a routine of like, I already know exactly what workout I'm doing every single morning, that will help kickstart my motivation to get into a better workout routine. Anyways, I would like pick up my camera and have you guys walk. Let me do that. I, uh, hold up. Oh. I ended up getting this for my LA trip, but I didn't use it. But the way it's set up, it works perfect to suction it to my mirror and then have my camera right here. Perfect, I think I'm gonna keep that in my bathroom now. Okay, one thing I wanted to do was put a little bit of oil on my face before I do my workout. My, oh, right here. I just flicked you guys off right here. <laughs> Every winter it flares up and gets super red and is just ah, a pain and I don't love it, but I'm trying to keep it hydrated and hopefully, hopefully it will heal. Anyways, back to what I was telling you guys about the sweat app. Oh, that reminds me my iPad is over here. So I started the sweat app yesterday and I did one of the workouts, a lower body workout. And then today my workout is a low intensity because it is freaking freezing outside. Like normally I would just take fancy for a long, you know what? It is way too cold, hard pass. So instead we're going to do a quick little yoga flow. It says 20 to 30 minutes of low intensity. So that is what we are going to do, huh? Welcome to my yoga studio, guys. This is where the magic happens. I like to use the Down Dog app. I've been using it since 2017. I really like it. We're just going to do like a 25 minute full practice. Shavasana be three minutes. Okay, 
Start practice. I do yoga in <laughs> just a sports bra. Personal preference. When I do yoga at home, obviously yoga classes, but I don't. Uh, so I'm going to turn off my camera and I'll see you guys afterwards. Hey. I was just tidying up and doing a couple of things around my house. Hold on, it's gonna get a little loud. It's actually not that loud right now, but I've got laundry going and I was just doing miscellaneous stuff and I realized that I never finished. That's super crooked. That's still super crooked. I never finished telling you guys what I do on the first of every single month. So I obviously get myself new contacts, but then Fancy also has to get her meds. So I recently switched Fancy from topical uh, tick and flea meds to like a pill format. And honestly, the pill format, I just realized like, I was not even in the frame. The pill ones work so much better on her. Like I wouldn't find ticks on her a lot before, but there were times, I remember one specific week, I found three ticks on her and I, freaked out. Ever since switching to this, is this one Interceptor Plus, right? This one is the, oh no, Next Guard. Yeah, this Next Guard chewable. Ever since switching to these, Fancy, whenever she gets a tick, a tick will bite her and it will die immediately. So I have actually found ticks on my bed that are just dead. And it's amazing. Now, obviously when we go for hikes and stuff, I still check her for ticks, but this stuff works wonders and she thinks it's a treat. You guys sit, sit. Good girl. And then the other one that she gets, this is Interceptor Plus. This is for heartworm. So she gets one of these every single month as well. Gotta keep my little girl healthy, huh? You're so cute. <laughs> okay. You guys don't, you, you like half squatting. Thank you. Now, it is 8.30 on the dot. I've got a YouTube video that is going live today at 10 o'clock and I'm really debating, like what do I wanna do right now? I need to make my bed still, but I'm gonna set up my Christmas tree today. So it's like, do I wanna bring my Christmas tree down? I feel like I don't really wanna get in that until after the vlog is live. Or not the vlog, the YouTube video is live. But I don't really know what else to do. As you guys know, there's a lot of redecorating and things that need to be done as well as I want to get done. So in this vlogmas, like in the upcoming days, you guys are going to get a lot of house updates. Like I wanna share with you guys what I did upstairs, which I only really made a bed, but I'll show you what the spare bedroom now looks like and kind of my vision and stuff up there and the living room is gonna get a makeover and just like miscellaneous stuff I've got going on in the house and I'll explain it as we go along. One of the things that I was looking into to last night has to deal with my master bedroom. Let me just give you a quick little rundown of what we've got going on in this room. So over here, I mean, this room is just like so bare and boring. Usually my laundry basket's there, but I'm currently doing my laundry. So got a dresser, a TV, this mirror, which I feel like is just like not big enough for this room. Like I would love something that's huge and tall because I've got such tall ceilings. Over here, oh, I did hang up this piece of artwork. This Furbo usually doesn't go here. I specifically put that there so I could set my camera on it. But I got this new piece of artwork, which is super, super cute. So I've got that. I've got this little chest thing, which is awesome. I'm gonna end up taking that picture down and moving it somewhere else. If you guys, I definitely have not shared this with you guys. This is a drawing that I did in high school. That's me and my siblings. What I was actually looking into last night was the bed area. This wall just feels so bleh, you know? And I wasn't sure what I wanted to do above the bed or what I'm going to do above the bed. I'm definitely getting new throw pillows, so expect that to be a totally redone. In terms of the side tables, I like them, but I do not like the lamps on them. Let me actually go over here. I'll show you this one. These just have such big bases that it takes up a ton of room on this side table. And I also just feel like it doesn't add enough height. Everything is so, so freaking low. Huh, fans. I was on Pinterest last night. Let me pull up what I ended up seeing. And honestly, this is like not even top priority. Like there's other things that need to be done in my house, but I was like, ooh, my bedroom, because I just like want my bedroom to be a cool, cozy space that I really wanna spend time in, you know? So for one, I found this like really cute, like how cute. Is that wallpaper and just vibe in general? Ugh, I'm adding, or want to add a lot more 
like feminine touches to this space now that it's just me. I really have a mid-century modern kind of industrial style, but I love feminine touches. Like give me all of the flowers and things like make it pretty, but make it industrial mid-century modern vibes. I ended up seeing this specific photo last night. Boom, and you see these little wall sconces that are right there. They're plug-in wall sconces, and I don't know why. Like, I originally thought, wow, if I could have wall sconces on this wall, it would be so cool. Like, it would give something to this wall, and then I would have lights up higher, and I just, like, think it would look nice. But I was like, I don't want to get, like, all the wiring and stuff done and pay someone to do that. Like, it's too much money. And then I found out that there's a thing called plug-in wall sconces. I'm looking into those. And I'm still not sure if that's the direction I want to go. Just imagine right there, boom, boom, like two wall sconces. And I'm not exactly sure what style, but I just, oh, I just ran into my dresser. I just feel like it would be cool. My other thought is maybe make this a wallpaper wall, like my office, do that. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm not sure. I'm not set on it. This dog is so, so freaking cute. I can't with her. But I don't love those lamps. And my thought is these lamps would match upstairs. So I think I'm going to put those in the upstairs bedroom. But I need to, I need to do something here. Uh, what do you think? What do you think, huh? Why do you look like such a model? I can't with you. Yeah, let me know what you guys think because I just, I don't know. Okay, it is Christmas tree time. Move this a little bit closer to you guys. So this Christmas tree, actually, let me first explain. In all of my adult life, since I have had apartments and homes and stuff, I have always gotten a real Christmas tree. But this is my first year on my own and going out and getting a real Christmas tree, putting it on top of my bins, bringing it back home, setting it up by myself, it just did not seem like a smart idea. So pre-Black Friday, actually, Target was doing sales. And actually, I think over Black Friday, they were also doing sales. I found this Christmas tree, which was originally like $200. I believe I got it for 80 maybe. And it's like seven and a half feet tall. I, I don't know how to set it up. This has got to be the top. But this area behind me, that's where my Christmas tree is going. So, <laughs> get out of here. Remove the plastic pole protectors. Is that this? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So how do I, oh wait, that one says two. So this one has to be one, correct? I don't, I don't know how to put up a Christmas tree, guys. I also don't know the best spot to set you. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna use this as my little tripod for the day. Does it just like slide in? Like, like does it lock into place? Make sure it's firmly inserted and then insert two and then insert tree top so you don't fluff it as you go. We got part number two. Oh wait, I guess I need this to drop down at least. Oh gosh. Okay. Without fluffing, this looks hilarious. <laughs> I can't. Oh. Okay. Well, we have a Christmas tree. <laughs> okay. Now how do I fluff this to make it look better? Begin to shape the branches by always working from the bottom section to the top. So I uh, just watched a video on how to shape an artificial Christmas tree because obviously guys, like I've never done this before and it looks hilarious. <laughs> like this, guys, that's not okay. That's not, <laughs> I can't. For one, this branch for some reason is so fallen forward. So maybe if I, I just, wow. After watching a video, 
now I know how to shape a tree and I should have watched it first because now I got to start at the bottom and like work my way back up the top. <sighs> okay. We're getting there, guys. This looks so much better. I wish I would have at some angles. I feel like, like you can see straight through. <laughs> uh, so maybe I need to do a little bit of fluffing still in the center. I wish I would have known how to fluff a tree from the very beginning because it would have made my life a whole lot easier. But progress. So I thought this tree was pre-lit. There were a couple of pictures obviously with the tree when I bought it and then there was a video and the video had lights on the tree. So I was like, oh my gosh, it's pre-lit. This is amazing. It's, it's not pre-lit. So I gotta, let's go downstairs and grab my lights. I think I'm going to light it and then continue to fluff it as I go. It looks pretty cute back there though. And it's like the right height. Okay, I'm just gonna. We've got all of the lights on. I've got a couple of tree limbs that fell off. But I ended up getting this tree skirt at Target because the tree skirt I have is white and it's just gotten really, really gross over the years from having actual Christmas trees. So I found this one at Target and I was like, if this does not match my vibe. And I've always wanted to have a tree collar instead of like a skirt. So I bought this. Oh yes, it will actually fit. Ah! Oh my gosh, if this is not the most Catherine Christmas tree in the world, I love it. I feel like I should vacuum first though and get all this out of the way. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I can't. Ah, so cute. Yeah, this side's harder. <laughs> why this is working. Oh, this is hard to do. I don't know if it's supposed to be this hard to do, but this one's going be instead of, it's just like not lining up. I know we're close to lining up. Huh, what do I do? At this point, I honestly don't even know how long I've spent on this Christmas tree. I know it's been over an hour, but it's looking cute. It looks so cute. Now, I had this crazy idea in November. I was looking through my Instagram photos and I had my old, my Christmas tree from last year in my Instagram photos. And one thing that I've never liked about these photos, now guys, I know this is like so, so extra. But one thing I didn't love about these those photos was one, the lights on the Christmas tree were always colorful. I'm not a colorful light person, I'm just not. And now that I'm by myself, I can have all white lights and it's great. But the other thing is all the ornaments. <laughs> I have always wanted to just have a bare Christmas tree with white lights. I don't know if I'm gonna commit to it. I don't know, I've got this cute topper that I also bought for my tree. Like how Catherine-esque is this guys? Like I cannot with myself this year, I cannot. Do I only put the topper on it and no ornaments? Like, am I gonna be that chick? I don't know, I might do it. I like kinda don't want ornaments on my tree this year. I love the way it looks. Okay, I put the topper up there and I don't like it. So the topper actually lights up and is really cool, but sadly the cord is not long enough to reach to this. So I have this plugged into a smart light so I can say, Alexa, turn off the Christmas tree light. Boom, and it's gone. Okay, and then I can say, Alexa, Merry Christmas. Dang it, it didn't work. Alexa, Merry Christmas. Oh, it's not working. I like set up a routine so when I say that it turns on, but anyways, Alexa, turn on the Christmas tree light. Boom. So I wanted that plugged into the same switch so that I could just have all of it go on at once, but it doesn't reach. And if I am going to go for the vibe with no ornaments, I think I need to not have a topper on it. I just, I love the look. I don't know what it is. Like maybe I'm going to decide like 10 days into vlogmas, you know what? I need ornaments, but I think I'm going to take that off and leave it. I'm in 
my ridiculous reindeer onesie right now because I decided very last minute that I actually wanted to do a Vlogmas intro. I wasn't going to, like I was just gonna have a cute little thing in the beginning of the video like I did for my trip the whole way out to LA. You know, it was like kind of like a recap of the video in the beginning with like music and it just kind of like sets the vibe. That's what I was going to do all Vlogmas, but it was like two o'clock and I was like, what the heck else do I have to do with my time? So Fancy and I filmed a Vlogmas intro. I just finished editing it and now I have to edit this vlog to get it up for you guys tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you guys back here for day two of Vlogmas. I don't have anything else to say. Bye.